what would the CIA have gained by putting LBJ in office? LBJ was no fun, I mean, no fan of the agency, uh, and the and what happened? LBJ became president, and things did not go well for the agency at first. Uh, it really would not have made much sense, um, and putting it together would have been. I'm going to leave it at that. I, I'd like to offer some counterpoints. But why? Because I, 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 I think people have these theories, and there's legitimate like, – I'm not saying that I believe in it, but I think that like, when Alice, Alan Dulles was the chairman of the Warren Commission and um, Kennedy fired Alan Dulles because of you know, things like Operation Northwoods and the aftermath of the Bay of Pigs, like, that does raise questions. That, the Bay of oh, hold Pigs. On, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. There's, there's more, I, and I appreciate you listening. Um, the, the, I wasn't going to get uh, emotional here, but it looks like no. I'm going to have to. Uh. <laughs> Okay, um, and there, there's all, look. Um, Let's talk about the had, Bay of Pigs. Well, you also I want to talk about you the Bay also, of Pigs. Kennedy had Kennedy, who openly wanted to pull out of Vietnam, and a lot of people wanted us to that go into Vietnam, such... and LBJ, th this is my, this is, a lot of people feel this way, though, and I'm glad that you're here to address why, why. The vision why is to try and shine up J JFK's image. JFK is the reason we were in Vietnam. He is the reason. Who do you think put our troops into Vietnam? Who do you think told the French after they lost Dien Bien Phu, we will move in and stop this uh, uh, communist insurgency? And more importantly, who do you think authorized the Bay of Pigs? JFK. And then he changed his mind at the last minute, and a lot of very brave people died because they didn't have air cover, because JFK at the last minute said, I don't think we're going to do this. And since then, there's been all this revisionist crap that comes out especially pushed by journalists who want to tarnish JF who want to shine up JFK's image because now he's the golden star on the hill give me a break there's no context to any of that I JFK was learning on the job as president I'm not going to say he was a bad president but he was not interested in getting us out of Vietnam LBJ kept the same policy in place that Kennedy had lined up and LBJ made it worse there's no question about you that. A lot worse. But we went into Vietnam because of John F. Kennedy. I mean, we had our assets in there beforehand, intelligence assets, some special forces, because we were also helping the French when it was France and Indochine, you know, Dien Bien Phu and, and the battle for, you know, the French were there before us. It was a French colony. And when they left, we moved into the vacuum, and Kennedy was president. Okay, I mean, look, people have these theories. People feel people feel this way, uh, and I appreciate you addressing them. Uh, but I think that, like, you know, when when Alan Dulles is chairing the Warren Commission, and you know that Alan Dulles and JFK did not like each other, um, that is. How do you know that? How do you know they didn't like each other just because uh, LBJ from, let him? I mean, uh, JFK let him go. From what I've read, did did they like each other? I have no idea, but I'm not going to say. I don't know what their personal relationship was. From what I've heard, I've heard. Um, through reading numerous articles and watching um, numerous interviews that they did not like each other. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But also, I, how I, come... I have no idea. So, but here's another thing, though. How come that hasn't gotten declassified after, like, 60 years? I can't answer that either. I'm not part of the declassification process. I had access to all of those classified documents. We should tell you a little bit about my perspective. Mm -hmm.